day, be grinding. Most parrots seem to participate in this behavior, though unless you sleep in the same room with your parrots, you may never see or hear it. Parrots will sometimes methodically grind the upper, uh, upper mandible with the lower, causing somewhat of a snap crackle sound. It has been agreed that parrots do this as a soothing behavior and typically will do it when they are feeling full, contented, or sleepy. Many parrots make it a ritual to be grind every night before falling asleep. This is an adult Myers parrot. His name is Petey, and I, uh, this is the only picture that I didn't take, um, courtesy of uh, Pyacephalus Girl on birdboard.com. Oh, and you'll notice how he, he puts the, uh, the tip of the upper mandible inside the lower mandible. That's a common, common way to design it, and it, 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 it's what causes that crackling sound. They will sometimes often also shift it from side to side in the grinding. Love me, preening and aloe preening. Um, just let me know when you want to take a break, by the way. No, okay. All parrots preen. Parrots spend hours a day keeping their feathers well oiled and immaculate. They have a small gland at the base of the tail, which excretes oils uh, when they gently rub it with their beak. Then they carefully spread the oil onto each feather by running it through their mouth. Many parrots who are preening look fluffy as they are busy fussing over themselves. When a parrot wishes to be preened by another companion, they typically bow their head and or squint their eyes and fluff their feathers on the nape of the neck. Some will also be grind to show contentment. Many parrots prefer only to be touched in certain places, most commonly on the nape of the neck, and they like to have these feathers stroked backwards. More touchy-feely parrots, like cockatoos, may solicit petting under the wings by lifting one wing at a time for a scratch. Most parrots who do not wish to be touched will open their beaks and offer a bite, backing up if they can, and sometimes growling, honking, or hissing to make a point. Some people believe that if a parrot does not have a mate, it will not be able to bring the feathers on its head, but this is not true. Many parrots lavish a good self-soothing, as I call it, by rubbing their head with one of their feet. These parrots are careful to massage all the areas that feel best, on the nape, under the chin, behind the ear, craning their head to the side in order to get just the right spot. This is a treat to watch, especially when one discovers that it can use the shaft of an old feather to itch those really hard to reach places. Your old double yellow-headed Amazon uh, does that. We've got a double yellow-headed that will, will pick up an old feather and Oh, she gets every little spot in there and just has a has a good time. What's up? Is that the, now I've only seen an Amazon do that with a feather. And, and cockatoos this guy they use their feet. Mm -hmm. The only Amazon is that kind of like a species specific thing? Or no. Or no, 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 no. Um, macaws, cockatoos, Amazons, oh. African greys, Indian rainnecks, conures, any, I've seen every species do it. Um, I've actually never seen a cockatiel grab a feather or use a tool, but they're kind of on the slower side of the parent world. Uh -oh. So, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Almost every species will do that now, and this guy, he's really banned. Um, orange wings, in, 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 a, in a way, kind of remind me of the hawk-headed parrot. <laughs> ah, cockatoo mix-up. <laughs> All right, here are some, uh, here are some preening parrots. Uh, the first in the upper left-hand corner is a berry cockatoo named Benny Boy. Uh, he is roosting and uh, uh, for a little preening. Now he is just laying flat on his face. He's having a good time um, with me preening those feathers for him. The, the one right below him is a Congo African Gray, bowing for, for a scratch. Now you'll notice, uh, just like the Amazon, he's got his nape feathers totally totally poofed out waiting for some love. Um, right next to him is a, a little green rump parrotlet named Oliver. He's preening under his wing. Um, you'll notice that the, the, uh, the neck feathers and the upper back feathers, wing feathers, are all um, sort of fluffed out as he's preening that area. Next to him is a citron crested cockatoo. And uh, cockatoos tend to accept uh, 
loving a little bit more readily than other species, and he's uh, very patiently allowing a stranger to pet him on the back. Right next to him is a Jende Conyer named Hobbit, and Hobbit is fluffing her mate feathers um, and her cheek feathers to solicit preening. The upper right hand corner, that's PJ again, our orange wing, and he's craning his head for, for me to get just the right spot. Upper left hand corner, those are two cockatiels preening each other, and uh, they're really enjoying themselves. <laughs> Next to them is blue and gold macaw Peggy Sue, and she uh, has her whole head fluffed up. Uh, waiting for some love. We typically call that, typically and affectionately call that the dur face. They, they kind of look like they're going, dur, y'all, pet me, love me, I love me. You know, so that's the dur face. Um, next to her is uh, my husband Andy with our, our Triton cockatoo, that too. He's lifting up his wing. Some species will lift their wings for you to get under their wings. Um, this is debated about whether, whether this is a good thing or not because uh, scratching under the wings is very sexually stimulating. That's where their sexual organs are and, and you tend to really stimulate them when you go under the wings. Um, yes? Oh, I, Question? I was just surprised by that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they really, really like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yes, uh, lower left hand corner, that's uh, green wing macaw, uh, Rain, cleaning himself, and he's lifting his, his foot up so he can get underneath his leg, and um, they're, they're actually very acrobatic. They can move into all kinds of surprising positions. Um, next to him is umbrella cockatoo Fody, bowing for a preen. Um, not all species will bow their head to solicit preen, but a lot do. Next to him is a um, Moluccan cockatoo dolly, and she's self-soothing. She's, uh, she's got her, her foot up on her face, and she's massaging her, her chin and, and her ear area. Um, some parrots will even uh, uh, go as far as to use their feet to like pick their nose if they have like crusties in there and stuff. They're, they're really good with their feet. So that's how they stay so clean and neat and tidy. Next picture is green cheek conure. Uh, that's Stravinsky. And he is delighted that he's getting a little, a little head rub. You can see that his eye is squinting there. He's really having a good time. Okay, this is the alien page. Stand tall, brave soldier. Fearful body language. Parrots will often stand as tall as they possibly can when they are frightened or threatened by something they saw or heard. This posture usually indicates that a bird would really prefer to avoid conflict, if at all possible, and he thinks that if he looks bigger, the danger might go away. While displaying this behavior, most birds will stick all of their feathers, uh, slick all of their feathers back. Some species, such as Moluccan cockatoos, however, are the exception. These birds stand as tall as they, <coughs> they can while fluffing out every feather they own. They figure that looking tall and wide will make them extra big and scary. If standing tall does not work to deter a threat, the parrot progresses to, a, uh, to an aggressive posture. The first picture on the left is a Jardine parrot. These are all, all birds that are standing as tall as they can. Um, the next is our cockatiel, uh, uh, Pearl Cockatiel Cooper. She's the, the snot that started it all with our birds. <laughs> um, next is our red lorry, uh, Orbit, and he is uh, uh, standing as tall as he can while looking out the window. He saw something pretty scary out there. I don't know if the dog came to the window or a cat or something, but he, he was not pleased. Um, upper upper uh, right over there is a Triton cockatoo, Benny Batu. He is sporting an example of a bird that may not slick its feathers back while standing tall. Um, below him is African Grey Pookie, and she is uh, every feather slipped back and standing as tall as she can. Something perked her attention that she wasn't sure about. Um, and that last picture there is Citron Cockatoo Pistachio. Um, that's a good photo of a bird. You can see the neck stretched out. He's actually not stretched all the way, but you can see the, the neck stretching since he doesn't have any feathers. Um, they have extra vertebrae in their neck so they can really make them long when they want to.